Hi Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how to recycle and reuse. So you know we all love getting our Stampin' Up! boxes in the mail, right? Well this one was upside down, only because I opened it wrong. But we love getting our Stampin' Up! boxes in the mail. And when you open it, we rip into it, right? And then on the inside you find that fabulous paper. Well, my recycle man came a couple days ago, so my paper's all gone. But I normally save some of that for my crafting. But then you have all these great things on the inside. Has anybody ever thought how great it would be to use your Stampin' Up! box for your crafting? Hmm. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just go ahead and tear this fabulous box. There we go. So we'll just go ahead and set our Stampin' Up! box right there. So now we have some cardboard. And who would have thought that this would have been so fantastic? So the card we're going to make today is with your beautiful butterflies die. And I used the joy, uh, the joy fold technique for the card. So then you can see how it opens. Yeah, pretty cool. And again, this is using our Stampin' Up! box. It's awesome, it's easy to do, and you're going to love it. I know it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to, to make today's card, here we go, let's get it just set up there. So to, to make today's card, you're going to need chocolate chip cardstock. You're going to need um, very vanilla cardstock, and I used pretty and pink as well. So you're going to need those things for time's sake. I'm not going to get into the dimensions and that sort of thing, but I will have them all on my website, brandyscards.com, so you'll be able to see that. So let's start off with our base. Our base of our card, what I have done is I do have an eight and a half, um, an eight and a half by four and a quarter piece of chocolate chip base, and I've taken my Simply Scored. By the way, if you don't have a Simply Scored, this thing is fantastic. I love it for so many reasons. Um, one of my favorite is making my own homemade envelope. So I'll show you that one of these days too. All right. So what I've done is I am going to score this. I'm going to put this on the long edge, and I'm going to score it at three inches. Yes, I lost my tool for my Simply Scored, so I'm using my bone folder. But that's okay, because on my next order, I'll be ordering me one. But right now, my bone folder works just fine. Okay, so there we've got our base. We're going to go ahead and put our Simply Scored aside. Now, what I've done is I've just cut a piece of Pretty in Pink. It's um, just your standard base size, which is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And it appears that I forgot glue. That is bad for me. I'm sorry, honey. I just totally screwed up my presentation, didn't I? All right. So, your basic uh, card size. We've got our four and a half by five and a half. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue that to the base of our card. And sometimes these glues are fantastic. I'm just using a general combo glue. I love it. It's a permanent adhesive. All right. And Stampin' Up! settles combo glue, which is even better. Fantastic stuff. Okay, so you're going to go glue that straight on top. There you go, you've got your card started. Then what I did is I took a three and a quarter by, looks like three and a quarter by eight inches, and I scored it at four. So just basically halfway. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on one side, and you're actually just going to kind of glue this right here in the center, just like that. So it looks fabulous. Love that, right? So now it's just kind of a fun, fun, joyous fold, right? Love that. Okay, so now how did I make that cool butterfly? All right, so to make the butterfly, let's start with the top of our butterfly and move our way down to that cardboard. So one of my most favorite dies ever is the Beautiful Butterflies Bigs Die by Stampin' Up. This die is like to die for. Love it. Okay, so background stamps. You'll notice here that the top layer of my butterfly is using a, a very vanilla piece of cardstock, just a piece of scrap, and then I just used a background stamp. So you can pick any background stamp that you want. I think I used in France. So, but you can use any one that you want. I've got a chocolate chip stamp pad. Actually, I've got a soft suede here, so you can use either chocolate chip or soft suede. We're going to go ahead and ink up our background stamp. Now, I've seen this done both ways. I've seen folks take the background stamp and do it this way, but I personally like to lay it flat, and I like to put my cardstock on the top. And I like to put the pressure on there. Um, sometimes I'll put a piece of scrap paper. Oh, well, we can just use our cardboard, really. There you go. You're like, oh, she's messing up the other side. Well, that doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see that side anyway. All right, so then we'll go ahead and pick it up. 
That's perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. So we're going to put our background stamp aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull in our Big Shot. And um, if you don't have a Big Shot, this thing is fantastic. You definitely need to get you one. We love the Big Shot. So now you, you need to make a sandwich. So you're going to need your one plastic piece. You're going to need your beautiful butterflies die. And then I'm just, I've got a big piece of very vanilla with the background stamp. I'm going to rip it in half because it doesn't really need to be that big. I'm going to go ahead and layer it on my small butterfly. Let's run that through the big shot like such. Super. Perfect. All right, so now we have our top layer of butterfly. Okay, so the second layer here that you see on the butterfly is, um, is actually the paper from inside my Stampin' Up! box. That's right, you know all that paper that comes in there? This stuff is fabulous to craft with. So, I put mine in the recycle bin because I wasn't making any cards with it re uh, recently. So, the next best thing is um, brown paper bag, like lunch bags. So, those work great too. So, anyway, I went ahead and grabbed a lunch bag. So, I have a piece here. We're going to go ahead and make a sandwich and layer that back up on our beautiful butterflies die. I put it on the small butterfly because I, I wanted the uh, the small butterfly underneath there. Run that through your big shot. We're going to go ahead and pull that butterfly out of there. Perfect. Now you see that you've got your little lunch bag uh, butterfly. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is just see the sponge here. Love this thing. If you haven't done this, we learned this at convention a couple of years ago. It's fabulous. You just put a little, um, oh, what are these things called, clothespin? on your little Stampin' Up! sponge. And a lot of times I'll take like a chocolate chip um, ribbon and tie it around there. So number one, it, well, it prevents you from getting ink all over your hands, but it's just a nice little handy tool. So what we're going to do is I call this flicking. Um, you're going to just start flicking, uh, flicking your little butterfly. Because what you're doing is you're just adding texture to it. Because right now it's pretty darn like light color brown. It's like a crafty kind of color. Um, and it doesn't really match well. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of add some texture and add some depth to it. So make it look really interesting. So I have got two here from my brown paper bag, but you can layer as many as you want. You could use one if you wanted to. And the same thing with the little butterfly that we did the background stamp on. We're going to add texture to that too. Now you might ask, why are you using soft suede when your card is chocolate chip? Well, you know, that's a very good question. I just liked the way that the colors all kind of molded. I felt like my chocolate chip was a little too bright, and I wanted, um, or maybe intense, and I wanted something a little more subtle. So that's why I went to Soft Suede. All right, so we're working on our butterfly. Now we've got to get the big butterfly ready. So I've got my cardboard that I ripped off of my fabulous Stampin' Up! box. And you know, if you didn't realize it, this Stampin' Up! Big Shot is fantastic. You can run cardboard through there, chipboard through here. I do a lot of stuff with fabrics. So you're going to have to check back to see a fabric class. All right, so we're going to go ahead and push that through. I might have to stand up for that one just to get that started. There we go. We're going to pull that through. And we're going to pull out our big butterfly. Okay, little oohs and ahs. Yay. You know, you should always save some of these scraps too because there's some fun sponging techniques that you can do and use this as a template. So sometimes I save those as well. All right, so what are we going to do now? We're going to go ahead and start. Hmm, my paper got all messed up on me here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start sponging our big butterfly just the same as we did our two small ones. And again, that's just because I want to add some texture and I want to add some warmth to my butterfly and kind of make him look a little bit maybe more antique -y. So we're going to go ahead and add some sponge on him. Perfect. Now we're going to pull in. We, are, we have got a little brad. Here we go. Basically out of the Neutrals collection of brads. I've got a little brad, and I've also got my crocodile. Now, if you've never used your crocodile, it is fantastic. I recently did a post on brandyscards.com on how to use your crocodile. So if you haven't seen it, you might want to check it out because it is a fantastic tool that I think um, once you learn exactly what you're doing with it, you'll love it. So you'll see right here, we're going to use our top hole. We're going to go ahead and just punch a hole 
right through the top of our butterfly. We're going to stick our brad in there. Then we're going to punch a hole through our cardboard. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and add our brad through there. Let's just kind of poke it in the back. And now we have a fabulous butterfly. So it's coming right along. Now what I would do is I would definitely recommend adding a few uh, Stampin' Dimensionals or Pop Dots behind the wings because you want it to flutter, right? I mean, it's just so pretty. So I usually add it within the, you know, the first, the bottom, underneath the bottom layer and the second layer and maybe the second and third layer. I kind of like to leave my top layer free uh, just because, you know, depending on what the project is, you can kind of make those wings flutter. So I just think that is a really cool effect. All right, so let's move back to our card. So here it appears that I went ahead on this one, which I kind of forgot that little tidbit. I actually used my square lattice to run this through the Big Shot to get this texture. You certainly don't need that texture, um, but if you want it, you can run that through the Big Shot to get that texture. And you know, we could probably just go ahead and do it right now, I bet, even though we've already gone this far. It's probably okay. You're going to make your sandwich. You're going to go to tab one. You're going to add your clear plate and then your textured folder, which for those of you that have ever seen my videos before, you got to have these. If you have a big shot, you just have got to have some of these texture plates or these folders. They are just fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer it along the seam here. It's not going to hurt my card. My card is pretty much put together, but it's not going to damage anything. You know, sometimes we forget those little tidbits. We're going to run it here through our big shot, just like that. Open it up. And there you have it. You have this great texture, just like that. See? Yeah, worked perfectly. Awesome. Thank goodness. No, just kidding. All right, so now what we're going to do is I would say the next step is to stamp your gritty. Now, you can go ahead and you can add your butterfly, but what happens if you stamp your greeting crooked? Well, then you've got a butterfly that's glued down. So I would recommend just going ahead and, and trying to get your greeting on there. I always place my, my image or my um, object on there so I can kind of, you know, kind of figure out exactly where I want to stamp that. Today I chose the word happiness because butterflies make me happy. Now you can use Tombow glue behind your butterfly to make it flat. I mean, it really, it's pretty, you know, cardboard is definitely raised. It definitely has a fun texture to it, so you really don't need to pop it up. But because, um, because I want it to just stay here so I can show it to you quickly, I'm going to go ahead and use my Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay? So I just glued my butterfly down, and there is my card. What do you guys think? Very cool. That is recycle and reusing right there. So that is a fun, fun little technique. Now check this out. Now each year, I have been doing a Stampin' Getaway. It's called the, uh, the Getaway, and it's in Pinehurst, North Carolina. It's fantastic. It's so much fun. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do that, maybe for next year. Um, and so last year, as a gift for my Recycle and Reuse class, um, I made these butterflies for the ladies. And then on the inside, I gave them a little bitty uh, thing of dazzling details, Stampin' Up! Dazzling Details. And I wrote each lady a nice thank you note for coming to my Pinehurst retreat. So, anyway, I just thought that was a really cool way to use that little butterfly. So thanks for stopping by BrandysCards.com today. I hope you enjoyed my little tidbit. Don't forget to recycle and reuse.